Hey guys, this is Jono from Silicon Dales. Just going to talk uh, in this video a little bit about Active Campaign. We've tried a number of different email platforms over the years. Uh, we work with a lot of uh, e-commerce clients uh, and, and setting up their, uh, their email uh, systems on the back end. So their back end email funnels after purchase and their abandoned cart sequences. Uh, we've tried a number of different platforms. Uh, probably the, the two main platforms we use at the moment are Motoric. Uh, which is not all that well known but has some great features and then active campaign we've tried some others uh, in the past um, all of them have uh, you know certain aspects and elements that they do quite well but as a catch-all uh, solution for us uh, we find active campaign is, is pretty good so just going to do a little quick review on uh, what active campaign is how it works uh, pricing etc and then uh, we'll have a look at a little bit in the back end and and how easy it is to use which is one of the reasons why uh, i like it myself so if we just have a we'll go over and have a look at the um the pricing so it's it sort of comparable to a lot of the uh, other platforms on the market but um it is scalable so you um well first of all you can actually you can grab a free trial you can see how that works um so i'd certainly encourage that and then you can uh you can you've got this uh, option here and you can scale up uh, how many contacts you're going to be having um, within um, your account and you know starting at nine dollars per month uh, that's on a yearly plan or fifteen dollars per month on a uh, a monthly plan um, that's you know pretty uh, pretty good compared to a lot of the other big platforms in the market so um, so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to log in and we'll have a look at the back end I'm not going to go into a lot of um, crazy detail but we will talk about how the platform actually works so I've just logged in so if you haven't uh, used a uh, an email uh, platform before where you can set up uh, broadcast emails and autoresponder sequences etc been around for a long time um, and certainly from an e-commerce point of view a lot of stores don't have them set up we've just taken on a quite a large client um, that uh, does really good monthly revenue um, is a is a real leader in their market and they've built it all without actually having any back-end email marketing or even abandoned cart sequence for that matter so um, you can imagine once we implement that for this client and they've got a, a really large customer list already uh, it's just going to grow their revenue um, through the roof so uh, for, for any e-commerce platform that is collecting data or collecting emails uh, custom information um, it's a no-brainer that you need to set up uh, back in email funnels and autoresponder series and then um, you can go as deep as you want with your integration and your complexity on how you tag uh, certain customers that are coming into the, your list and if they're they've purchased or if they haven't purchased and um, volume of purchases value of purchases etc and then you can segment and actually start to really fine-tune your email marketing to particular segments uh, within uh, your customer database so one of the main reasons I like Active Campaign is number one, it's quite simple to use. Uh, if you haven't um, used an email uh, platform before like this, it does take a little bit of time to get your head around it. But the main reason, one of the main reasons I really like it is you can you can add uh, more than one account quite easily. Some of these other email systems out there, um, per account, you can only have one store or uh, you can have a number of different lists, but it can be a little bit difficult to actually integrate different stores and keep them separate. So this is what I like about uh, this particular uh, platform so if we go to our list here our list are actually uh, individual uh, stores so and th their integration process uh, you can do it that they have a lot of um, if we just work on down and have a look at integrations so here we can see that they uh, integrate with a lot of different um, applications. Uh, the one we use a lot is Shopify. Um, you can use Zapier to do pretty well anything you want. I actually use Zapier um, instead of the Shopify, the default Shopify app, as I can be a little more flexible on how I want to uh, bring in the data into the, the lists. Uh, and you can see that there's um, plenty of other options here uh, that work quite well. Uh, we have a lot of a lot of um, clients on WooCommerce, uh, on enterprise level type WooCommerce clients. So, and we've got this option here as well. So let's just go back to the main dashboard. And here uh, we've just clicked through to campaigns and this is where you can send out uh, broadcast emails to uh, your lists or your different lists, uh, different segments of lists, just like you would with any other um, email platform. And you can actually start to promote to your customer list. 
uh, just pretty standard stuff. Um, if we just go to manage templates, we can see that there's we have a number of different template options we can uh, that's actually provided for you within Active Campaign itself. Um, I actually like just using the simple uh, personal type templates, uh, maybe one image and a little bit of text um, has some implications with. Uh, sendability when you actually have a lot of HTML and images within your emails. So just keeping it simple and having a really good offer is what we find works best. So again, just standard stuff um, within the campaign. Go to contacts and you can uh, get a really good, good idea of all your contacts. Uh, so once we've clicked on our contact, we can then go and uh, have a look at all the information uh, that that contact is brought with it from a particular store. So uh, we can see here that um, this has been tagged, this uh, customer here has been tagged as a new customer. So we set that up uh, once they enter the list that uh, they're tagged as a new customer. And then uh, they obviously li the list that they're actually part of. Uh, so now we're just looking at a particular campaign report. Really good reporting. Uh, it's pretty standard practice again, but still. Uh, you know, provided in a really user-friendly way with your percentage of opens, uh, your clicks and bounces, etc. How our campaigns actually performed over that time. So, what what I do find with Active Campaign is the sendability and the uh, the open rates are pretty good compared to others. Even if you um, if you uh, send out the same campaign, uh, they've they've done really well with uh, making sure um, your, the emails don't go to spam uh, just from the the way they actually process the emails. Uh, let alone how we actually write them to make sure that they end up in the, the right place in someone's email inbox. So we can track um, actions within an email, so total clicks uh, where they've clicked through to. Uh, you can have a look at the uh, the location uh, where those particular people are. So we just get, it gets really uh, integrated into how you can actually um, start targeting and segmenting your list, especially as they grow larger and larger. Then we, uh, we've just moved through to the automation tab. So this is where your email autoresponder series can kick in. So um, again, really simple. Yeah, you have your list. So in this particular list, if a customer purchases uh, from the store, they are then added to uh, the list. And then we can actually uh, provide an action what happens to that customer once they enter a list. So, um, so here we've got once a contact subscribes to the list, uh, then they actually enter this automation and it basically they just get an email, uh, welcome email to the particular um, store, and then you can add, you can provide different actions on, on what you want it to do. So um, we've got sending options here. Whether you want to send an email, you can even uh, send SMS, uh, depending on what sub subscription you have within the process. And you've got all these different actions where you can wait for a certain period of time. Um, if then uh, if this and that type of actions where if something happens um, or there's some type of action you can enter them into a part of an automation you can split the automation go to another action there's so many different options you have and you can get quite uh, quite complex in the way you do things so this one here is just a very standard auto um, responder series where they enter um, then we wait for five days and we, we follow up with um, some information on some of the brands and we just carefully engage um, the customer over that time and it, and um, writing the emails and actually the strategy you use is a whole different um, uh, you need to uh, decide how you're going to do that and there's lots of training out there on the best ways to actually do that um, for your email autoresponder series all i'm doing here is just showing you uh, the simple uh, process of how things can work so what we could do here with this one is uh, let's say um, a customer ends up um, in this part of the automation here they go and uh, check out this product actually we'll just open it up So if we open the email up in the editor, and we, if this email goes out uh, to the customers and they click through and then actually purchase this product, then we can actually tag them that they've purchased this product through uh, the email link click that they've, they've um, um, been sent through, and then we've got we can add that particular customer to a, um, a, either a different list or we can tag them, and then we've got options then to actually um, segment them later on and understand um, our customer behaviour. Many different ways you can uh, ensure that the customer only enters the. So let's say you have a customer, uh, a returning customer to your store. Um, you you just tell the system that you only want that particular customer with that email to enter the um, the welcome series only once. So they're not um, you're not bombarding them with emails. And really simple to turn the uh, automation on and off. Just this inactive and active button up here. Um, so you can see that just so many different options and it's really really simple to use, which is why 
uh, we like using it within our business. Um, there's other options here. I'm not going to go into any more detail. Just wanted to give you a bit of a brief overview of what um, Active Campaign is, how easy it is to get set up and running um, with um, an email uh, provider, um, and Active Campaign is certainly one of the ones that we would recommend.